I don't think you know this, but a bunch of US billionaires got together in a group chat to try and put together schemes to shape public opinion on Israel, to try and make public opinion on Israel be more pro-Israel. This was done last October, and one of the CEOs in there was Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks. So, if you want another reason to boycott Starbucks, beyond the very obvious reason of their union busting, there you go. Now, let's break this down. A bunch of CEOs and billionaires want to help shape public perception of Israel to be more pro-Israel. Why? Most likely to protect their corporate interests. One, it allows them to operate in Israel, which is a relatively big market for them. Two, if people found out they were operating in Israel and they decided, we're going to boycott these companies for operating in Israel, it's going to hurt their bottom line. And things like boycotts and BDS have been around for ages. And guess what? That happened. These people were either operating in Israel, were assisting the Israeli occupation forces, giving their support to Israel, and thus they were a boycott. Starbucks was a boycott for their union busting, tangentially related to Palestine, and look what's happened to their stock prices. Billionaires are going to do this stuff because they're bad people who only care about money. Oh, and guess what else? Members of this group chat were highly influential in the decision to take heavy-handed tactics to disperse the encampments in Colombia. So yeah, the billionaire CEOs also were behind the police attacking American students. So if they ever ask you, the rich won't do that. Yes, they will.